What's going on guys, I'm back with some more Flash Jackson Road to the show here in his first year playing for Double A Altoona Curve. And right now the Curve are 17 and 15, just over 500, third place in this division. And Jack right now is only batting 202. I'm still trying to improve my hitting right now. I'm 1 for 15 in my last four games coming into this contest right here. So looking to bring up the average a little bit in this episode. We got one on, two out here in the second inning. And Jackson will drive it up the middle. And that is a base hit for Jackson. The next hitter would get out. So this inning would not lead to any runs. But now we have top four. Nobody out. One man on. And Jackson, as the runner takes off, he hits it. It was kind of an awkward swing, and it's going to be a base hit anyways. I had to swing in that hit and run situation. And now base is loaded, one out, and the ball's going to be hit deep into the outfield. Jackson and the man on third looking to tag up an advance of base. A run will go and score as Jackson moves over to third base. And now two outs, runners on the corners, and the first pitch of the at-bat is going to be hit right to the second baseman, and that's an easy ground out. So the curve do get a run and tie the game up. It's now 2-1, to one, top 5. More men on base for Flash, Jackson one in scoring position, and Jackson hits it deep to the outfield. And it's over the right fielder's head, and Jackson is going to fly around first. And now a runner runs around third base, and I don't know what I was doing here with Jackson. I literally have no idea what happened here. I started running back to first. And I'm not sure why I got so mixed up there. I ended up going to second, though. It was a mistake by the right fielder that allowed that to happen. And now it's top five, Altoona with the lead. And Jackson with another RBI opportunity, and he grounds into a double play. You cannot do that. At least we had a four-run lead. It doesn't really hurt, but I want to get some more RBIs. Jackson ends up getting credit for three singles in this game. As we go into the next contest, it's 9 nothing here in top of the six. Jackson's going to hit it right to the first baseman who flips it over to the pitcher to get the ground out. So Jackson did not get a hit in this game. 0 for 5, while the curve scored 11 runs and did so very early in the game. Next contest now, top first. And Jackson hits a soft ground ball to the third baseman who handles that cleanly and throws on to first base to throw Jackson out. So now top third, the curve have a one run lead, it's two outs, man on first, Jackson swings and misses at that fastball. And we'll move ahead now, top of the eighth inning, the curve looking for some more runs to make this a more healthy lead. Jackson hits up the middle, second baseman makes a nice play, and he's gonna throw out Flash Jackson. So tough game for Jackson as he's on a little slump right now, 0 for 4 in that game, as the curve won a slow scoring game. Now against the Bowie Bay Sox, the curve right now have a 2-1 lead, top of the six. Jackson hits it up the middle. That will be a base hit. It wasn't really hit that hard. It just got past the shortstop, and Jackson is on first base now. And Jackson getting his lead over at first, and then the pickoff attempt. And I just gotta be. I just gotta get used to the hitting L1 in that situation. It's just something I haven't done lately, and so hopefully that'll come very shortly. And I'm not getting picked off like that anymore, but. Next game now against the Bay Sox, and Jackson hits it pretty easily to the third baseman who throws Jackson out. Not really getting a lot of good contact, I was noticing, on a lot of these ground balls. This game, he only had three at-bats, just three ground outs. Not doing too well right now with the goals, not getting a ton of hits, and no extra base hits. Jackson actually doesn't even have a double in his career yet. No extra base hits at all. Next game against the Bay Sox, now Jackson once again strikes out swinging. Now top five, two on, one out, and the curve down by six. Jackson with a runner in scoring position hits a grounder right to the first baseman who flips it over to the shortstop. Jackson made it to first on the fielder's choice, but once again, kind of a missed opportunity for Flash. We go top seven now. Runners in the corners and nobody out. And Jackson this time, he was in a slump, so I just try to bunt the ball down the first baseline and get the run to score. Just get the RBI with Flash. Wasn't batting very well. It's going to be 17 points. And now the curve only down by four, top eight, and Jackson's going to chase this one. And it's still going to fall in front of the left fielder, so that is a base hit for Flash at least. Kind of breaking him out of his slump a little bit. And now with Flash on first base, the next hitter is going to hit it right to the first baseman who easily records the out, and the inning is over, and the curve would go on to lose by five to the Bowie Bay Sox. Jackson only with one hit in that game. Now we're playing against the Erie Sea Wolves, 3-0 here, bottom of the fourth, and I have a lot of trouble picking up that breaking ball. I look at a lot of them on two strike counts, so hopefully I can get better at reading those breaking balls. And now Jackson, just when he is making contact, it's not solid in this episode. That's an easy ground out. The pitcher throws it to first base. Now we got some outfield action for Flash Jackson. The Erie Sea Wolves are up by two. Two on, two out. And Jackson ranging to his left. And he's going to record the out, and the inning is over. 
And we will go ahead to the bottom of the ninth. Now, last chance for the curve to make up these two runs. Jackson is the leadoff hitter in the inning. 1-1 one, one count, and Jackson's going to hit that one in the air right to left field, though. Good things don't happen when Jackson hits it in the air. He needs to stay on the ground or hit line drives because he's not a power hitter at this point. 0 for 4 in that game, and his average dips to 195. Very dismal average. Going to have to work hard to get that back up as Jackson strikes out and his struggles continue. We go to the bottom of the seventh now. They're down by one. Jackson will hit it in between the third baseman and the shortstop, and Jackson's speed is going to get him on base with an infield single as it's now two on and two out. One, two pitch to the next hitter, and he strikes out looking, and that inning is over, and the curve would go on to win 4-3 to three against the Erie Sea Wolves as Jackson's still really struggling with the goals. None of them accomplished right now. Probably not going to get those 18 total bases. And I was just like, you know what? The goals aren't going great right now. I'm just going to use the points on contact because the contact Flash was making in this episode was not very good. Everything was softly hit, easy for the fielders to throw on the first base and get the easy out. So I just went for contact. It went away from the goals, but I thought that's what I had to do in that situation. And now Jackson... Pinch hitting against Harrisburg. The curve are up 7-2. to two Runners on the corners and two outs. It's an RBI opportunity for Flash. And he's not going to strike out. He avoids that, but it's an easy ground ball. The shortstop who flips it to second base. And the runner ahead of Flash was out. He only had one at bat in that game. So now he starts the next game. And Jackson softly hit to the pitcher. Easy ground out. It's pretty much the story of this episode for Flash Jackson. Very soft ground balls in the infield. 3-1, bottom five, and Jackson softly hit to the shortstop, throws on to first. But the first baseman was pulled off the bag, and Jackson will end up going to first base. I don't really want to reach on an error. I just want to get hits with him right now, over for 4 in that contest. Next game against Harrisburg, bottom one, nobody out. Jackson softly hit to the pitcher, and he can't handle it. So once again, Jackson reaches on an error. And it was just kind of frustrating to see him not be able to get hits, and then this, the defense that was played in this episode is not very good. As this ball is hit over the shortstop's head and the left fielder tries to dive for the ball and misses it and Jackson will come around to score. As we go ahead now to the top of the third, nobody on and Jackson's going to go back for this deep fly ball in center and make that catch. Hasn't made any errors in a while and so that's good to see from Flash but bottom six now, runner on first, two out and Jackson, that's what we needed right there. He almost takes the runner out but it's at least a hard hit ball that gets out of the infield and gets Jackson on base. I was looking for that all episode and it just wasn't happening as this batter is going to strike out and now bottom of the eighth Flash. One on again, two outs, and Jackson will hit that one over the head of the second baseman. That's what we need, Flash, right there. That's a good way to end this episode, a hard turnaround first base. But he's in with another single, a multi-hit performance in this last game of this episode. Now runners in the corners, pitch hit in the air to right, and that one's easily fielded as the curve go on to win this game. Two to one, Jackson reached on two errors and had two base hits his Average is only a staggering 197 and not doing very well with the goals, so I'm actually going to go for his arm strength now, and we're at least going to get that finished. Don't want to strike out on all these goals right here. And hopefully next episode, Jackson can make some better contact as he was hitting very, very poorly in this episode and his average dipped to below 200 even. So guys, thank you for watching the episode, and I'll have some more Flash Jackson coming soon.